Okay guys, so I cleaned my chicken ahead of time so I can show you guys what I season my uh, curry chicken with or my chicken. I'm using some Lari seasoning. I love the Publix uh, brand curry. It's a really, really good um, taste. And I'm also gonna use some Grace curry powder and I'm going to use some allspice. So to my bowl of chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and get my Lari's or um, all-purpose seasoning. And I'm going to get two tablespoons of it and sprinkle it on my chicken. And I'm gonna move that around. We'll add a little salt into our, our curry if we need it, but I like to pre-season my chicken um, with an all-purpose seasoning. It's really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and get my Publix brand curry powder. I'm gonna sprinkle it in there. And guys, the best thing about curry chicken is your garlic. Your garlic and your allspice will give your chicken a really, really, really good taste. I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, Grace curry powder and I'm going to sprinkle. And look, that has a very nice color, guys. So I'm gonna get two tablespoons of that and put it on my chicken. And I'm gonna just mix it around in my chicken, guys. I'm gonna let this marinate for about three hours before I cook it, because I want this to get into the skin, into the chicken really, really, really well. And it will give it a good flavor. Guys, so remember with curry chicken, you don't need to add a lot of water, maybe about two tablespoons of water. So my chicken is all coated. I'm gonna go ahead and get my allspice or my pimento seeds. These are what they look like. I'm gonna probably put about uh, two tablespoons or about, uh, I'll say the equivalent of six balls. Um, I normally crush them up so that it releases the flavor better. And what I'm gonna do before I start cooking, guys, I'm gonna crush some garlic up, put my garlic in the oil, and then I'll show you guys what to do. For my ingredients, I have some green chives or green onions. I have sweet onions, red, yellow, green bell peppers. I have two strands of thyme. I have six cloves of garlic, mints, a scotch bonnet, and I have some Grand Marcella that I'm gonna add in while the uh, curry chicken. So my curry chicken has been marinating for three hours. This is what it looks like. As you can see, the curries into the chicken really well, which is exactly what you want. All right, guys, so my pot is hot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some extra olive, uh, or extra virgin olive oil. And I'm gonna put about five or six tablespoons of that into my pot. I'm gonna let that get hot before I add my chicken. Add my chicken, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get garlic and I'm gonna sprinkle my garlic in there because I want my garlic to cook with my curry chicken or my chicken to fry with it. Garlic and pimento seeds or allspice are key ingredients. Um, when you're making curry chicken and Grand Marcella for me, if you don't have Grand Marcella, you can always, always use a little cinnamon, cloves, cumin, and a little bit of cardamom. All right, guys, I'm gonna start adding my chicken. I'm gonna add it face down first. I'm not gonna put all my chicken in at first because I want the skin of my chicken to brown. So I'm gonna put three. Um, I'm cooking eight pieces. Um, and I'm just gonna start with three. All right guys, so my chicken has been browning for about two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. As you see, the color is very nice. So I'm gonna flip that. That's a perfect. I'm gonna move these to the side. I'm gonna add the rest of my other chicken, guys. All right guys, so as you can see, I added the rest of my chicken. As you can tell, it has a nice golden color from the curry. I'm gonna start adding my veggies in, okay? So I'm gonna put those in. Bell peppers, the onions. I'm gonna put the scallops in there. And the scallops. I'm gonna put the thyme. I'm not gonna put the scotch bonnet in. Yeah, I don't want it spicy. As always, I just want the flavor from the scotch bonnet to make it taste 
good. I'm gonna mix my veggies around. Get the chicken. I'm not gonna add any water, guys. None at all. So I'm just gonna put this in really well. Sorry about my even of my camera. And I'm gonna go to my eye, guys. I'm gonna turn it down to like medium. So my cook, my chicken's only been cooking for about 10 minutes. As you can see, the uh, the juices from the chicken or the chicken stock has already reached up to the top. So guys, you don't have to even add any water. I mean, I used about three tablespoons of water just so that it won't stick and burn. Um, that's what you wanna do. And then I'm going to get my Grand Marcella. I'm gonna sprinkle the Grand Marcella maybe about a teaspoon of the Grand Marcella into my chicken. Let me just take the top off. So I got a teaspoon of the Grand Marcella and then I'm gonna get salt and add a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna mix it around. Guys, my chicken has been cooking for approximately 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add my scotch bond in there. Um, and then I'm going to cut up some uh, potatoes and I already have some carrots pre-cut. Uh, and I'm going to let them cook down with the rest of the chicken. I want my chicken really tender. So the overall cook time for this will probably be about 45 minutes to an hour, guys. So my chicken has been cooking for about 45 minutes. It smells great. I'm going to go ahead and get my carrots. Add my carrots in. And I'm gonna also add my potatoes. And I'm gonna let these cook down with my chicken until it's all done, guys. Uh, and just, and by the way, guys, I did not add any more water. So you see what I'm saying? You don't really need to add water into your curry chicken. Like I said, I did about three tablespoons um, so that the chicken wouldn't stick. Chicken has a really good flavor. You don't want to put too much water and it tastes, you know, it takes away all the flavors that you put from the curry. So I'm gonna let that cook. Yeah, so my chicken is about done. This is what it looks like when it's finished. Nice color from the curry. We got some good gravy. As you can see, it looks oily because that's the chicken stock as well as the olive oil. I added slightly another like tablespoon of uh, water so that the chicken wouldn't burn too much on the bottom or will burn on the bottom at all. Guys, thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, share, and tell me how you guys would do your recipe. All right, thank you.